Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm in Brough, County Limerick, and I'm here to see the ancestral home of Thomas Fitzgerald and JFK's ancestral family. So I'm going to show you JFK's statue, which was erected here. And the statue is of JFK. And you can see on the statue here, the amazing work the sculpture did to make this statue. And the statue is based on JFK putting his hand on the Bible when he was inaugurated as 35th President of the United States of America. And there's a great story about this Bible that you see. And uh, I will tell you more about this in the video. But the statue was erected here in the local town of Brough. And uh, there's a big connection here in Brough to JFK. All his ancestral family come from here. And uh, it's a great honour for the local people to have this statue erected in his memory. And just below the statue here, we'll read this. It says, Ancestral Home of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, 35th President of the United States of America. This is not the land of my birth, but it is the land for which I hold the most affection. And that was John F. Kennedy's Limerick visit in June 1963. So a very memorable day for the people of County Limerick. A life-size bronze statue of former U.S. President John F. Kennedy was unveiled in the home of his ancestors in Brough County Limerick in 2019. John Fitzgerald Kennedy's great-grandfather, Thomas Fitzgerald, emigrated from Brough to Boston in 1852, like so many others after the devastation of the Great Famine. The Bible he brought with him was the one used by JFK when he was inaugurated as U.S. President in January 1961. Thomas's son and JFK's grandfather, John Honey Fitzgerald, who became known as Honey Fitz, went on to become the first Irish Catholic mayor of Boston. He served for several terms, beginning the long political legacy of the Fitzgerald and Kennedy families. Honey Fitz married Mary Ann Hannan, whose parents were also both from Brough. Their daughter, Rose, married Joe Kennedy from New Ross County, Wexford. They had nine children, of which JFK was the second, and the Kennedy dynasty was born. The statue was unveiled outside the Thomas Fitzgerald Museum in Brough, which houses a number of books, pictures and memorabilia from the Fitzgerald and Kennedy families. The library was visited by JFK's daughter Caroline in 2013, where she acknowledged that there was no greater source of pride in her family than their Irish heritage. Speaking of her grandmother Rose, she said she was the best politician of them all, and it was no surprise that the child she named after her father, John Fitzgerald, was the one who grew up to become president. The statue, designed by renowned sculptor Seamus Connolly and funded by Limerick City and County Council. Cousins of the Fitzgerald family who live in the Brough and Lockgar area also attended the ceremony.
the Thomas Fitzgerald Centre is the famine pot. And if you want to pause the video, you can read all that there. It's all about the Irish famine. And it might be an interesting read as well. You can see the pictures here of the famine, the woman with her children who went through very hard times. I don't know if this is people maybe waving goodbye to their loved ones, maybe immigrating to America. It's a very, very sad looking scene. You can see the woman on her knees where she's crying. And a little anchor here beside us as well. So guys, that's the end of the video and my visit to Brough, County Limerick and John F. Kennedy's connections. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and take care and God bless.